My name is Doug Schmidt, and I'm here to share some thoughts on the importance of automated testing in open system architecture initiatives. The Better Buying Power 2.0 initiative is a concerted effort by the United States Department of Defense to achieve greater efficiencies in the development, sustainment, and recompetition of major defense acquisition programs through cost control, elimination of unproductive processes and bureaucracies, and promotion of open competition. This software engineering blog video describes how the Navy is operationalizing better buying power in the context of their open system architecture and business innovation initiatives. It also presents the results from a recent online war game that underscores the importance of automated testing in these initiatives to help avoid common traps and pitfalls of earlier cost containment measures. Given the expense of our major defense acquisition programs, coupled with the budget limitations stemming from the fiscally constrained environment, the Department of Defense has made cost containment a top priority. In response to this priority, the Navy has devised and supported various open system architecture initiatives, such as the Future Airborne Capability Environment, known as FACE, which is a technical standard aimed at enhancing interoperability and software portability for avionics software applications across DoD aviation platforms. The goal of these types of initiatives is to deliver enhanced integrated warfighting capability at lower costs across the enterprise and throughout the life cycle via the use of modular, loosely coupled, and explicitly articulated architectures that provide many shared and reusable capabilities to warfighter applications, fully disclosing requirement architecture and design specifications and development work products to program performers, adopting common components based on published open interfaces and standards, achieving interoperability between hardware and software applications and services by applying common protocols and data models, and amortizing the effort needed to create conformance and regression test suites that help to automate the continuous verification, validation, and optimization of functional and non-functional requirements. Achieving the goals of open systems architecture requires the Navy to formulate a strategy for decomposing large monolithic programs and technical designs into manageable, capability-oriented frameworks that can integrate innovation more rapidly and lower total ownership costs. A key element of this strategy is the Navy's Business Innovation Initiative, which is investigating various changes in business relationships between an acquisition organization and its contractors to identify rational, actionable reform for new acquisition strategies, policies, and processes. These business relationship changes aim to open up competition, incentivize better contractor performance, increase access to innovative products and services from a wider array of sources, decrease time to field new capabilities, and achieve lower acquisition and lifecycle costs while sustaining fair industry profitability. Although there's a clear and compelling need for new business and technical models for major defense acquisition programs, aligning the Navy acquisition community to the new open system architecture and business innovation initiatives presents a complex set of challenges and involves many stakeholders. To better understand these challenges and to identify incentives that meet the future demands of our naval force, during the past year, the Navy ran two massive multiplayer online war games leveraging the internet, or Mowgli's, to crowdsource ideas from contractors, government, and academia representatives on how best to incentivize the use of the open system architecture strategy by industry and the acquisition workforce. The Mowgli platform was developed by the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. This platform supports thousands of distributed players connected via the web working together in a crowdsourcing manner to encourage innovative thinking, generate problem-solving ideas, and to plan actions that realize those ideas. The first Navy Business Innovation Mowgli game was held in January 2013. Its primary objective was to validate the method of using the Mowgli platform to gather innovative ideas for improving the business of naval systems acquisition. This game was extremely successful, generating 890 ideas and 11 action plans. In addition, the results validated the soundness of the overall Navy Open System Architecture strategy and illuminated many ideas for further exploration in subsequent events with broader audiences. A second Navy Business Innovation Mowgli was conducted over the period from July 15th to August 1st, 2013. The purpose of this game was to generate ideas from a wider audience of acquisition professionals on how to best incentivize industry and how to motivate the government workforce to adopt open system architecture business models, procurement, sustainment, and recompetition of national defense systems. 
The 1,750 ideas presented through this exercise were later validated and translated into 15 action plans for implementing the Navy's open system architecture strategy. More than half of the nearly 300 participants in the game were from industry, and many of these were from the small business community. Given the current fiscal climate in the Department of Defense, it's not surprising that many action plans in the second business innovation Mowgli war game dealt with cost containment strategies. For example, one action plan proposed providing a bonus to Navy team members who save money on acquisition programs. The goal is to incentivize program office teams to take both a short-term and long-term view toward efficient acquisitions by optimizing prompt and early delivery of artifacts with accrued savings over the life cycle. Another action plan advocated rewarding a company for saving money on an acquisition contract. The top savers would get publicly recognized and rewarded. The goal is to allow effective public image improvement for both the government and industry partners of all sizes and types to receive tangible recognition of cost-saving innovations. Yet another action plan recommended increasing the incentive paid to a contractor if the actual cost of the delivered solution was less than the targeted cost. The goal is to give industry a clear mechanism for reporting cost savings, a clear way to calculate the reward for cost savings, and a transparent method for inspecting actuals over time. Although cutting costs is an important goal, it's critical to recognize that cost containment alone may be a hollow victory if it yields less costly but lower quality solutions that don't meet their operational requirements and that can't be sustained effectively and affordably over their life cycles. It's therefore essential to balance cost savings on the one hand with ensuring stringent quality control on the other. What is needed are methods, techniques, tools, and processes that enable software and systems engineers, program managers, and other acquisition professionals to ensure that cost-cutting strategies don't compromise the quality and sustainability of their integrated solutions. In particular, Mowgli action plans that identify reward structures need to be balanced with other action plans that avoid situations where contractors or even government acquisition professionals game the system by cutting costs to get a bonus while ignoring key system quality attributes, such as dependability, maintainability, and security, to the detriment of both the end users, the warfighters, planners, operators, etc., and the organizations responsible for the long-term sustainment of the systems. Ideally, contractors in the government should be incentivized to control costs while still ensuring that a quality product is delivered in a manner that's both operationally capable and affordably sustainable over the program life cycle. The $640 billion question is how can we help acquisition professionals and technologists better achieve the balance between quality and affordability? The Business Innovation Mowgli participants collaborated to provide a key piece of the solution. In particular, some of the highest ranked action plans from the second Mowgli war game addressed the need for automated testing and retesting as an evaluator and enforcer of system quality. Testing stimulates an executable component or work product with known inputs and under known preconditions, followed by the comparison of its actual and expected outputs and post conditions to determine whether its actual behavior is consistent with its required behavior. Automated testing is essential to achieve positive cost saving results in open system architecture initiatives by ensuring that the components and products delivered at lower costs have the requisite quality on the one hand, as well as reducing the time and effort required to conduct the testing processes on the other hand. The top-rated action plan from the second Mowgli game proposed using automated tools and industry best practices to reduce manual testing and evaluation effort and increase the coverage of automated regression testing in mission-critical naval systems. When there are many frequent development blocks, as is the case with iterative and incremental development methods, it's necessary to perform regression testing on the previously developed software to verify it continues to operate properly after being integrated with new software and evolves as defects are fixed and improvements are made. Iterative and incremental development cycles greatly increase the need for regression testing, and this additional testing becomes infeasible when it's performed manually. Another testing-related action plan was also well received, being ranked 8th out of a total of 15 action plans. This action plan recommended reducing certification costs by requiring integrated verification and validation processes to involve automated testing, including assurance cases, test plans, procedures, reports, and scripts, as well as test data, tools, environments, and labs. The goal is to replace time-consuming manual testing methods with formalized automated testing across the life cycle 
by defining, delivering, and maintaining testing work products with components to enable effective, efficient, and repeatable testing during component development, system integration, sustainment, and recompetition. Ironically, the action plans that focused on cost containment alone were ranked lower by the Business Innovation Mowgli participants, 10th, 12th, and 14th out of the total 15 action plans. Based on an analysis of comments from Mowgli participants, it didn't appear that their low ranking stemmed from a disinterest in controlling costs, but rather from the realization that without effective automated testing and retesting, the benefits of cost savings and efficiencies from open system architecture initiatives may be compromised by inadequate quality. After analyzing the results of the two Mowgli War Games carefully, the Navy recommended that a subsequent study area in the Open System Architecture and Business Innovation Initiatives focus on affordable testing. The goal is to establish quality assurance processes that are efficient and comprehensive during the design phase and initial delivery, as well as throughout the sustainment and recompetition phases. It's also critical that these automated tests be delivered with the system and include sufficient documentation so that government or sustainment contractors can both execute and maintain these tests. Of course, it's also important to recognize the limitations of automated testing. There's a significant upfront cost in automating tests. Likewise, the resulting testing work products must be engineered so that they have high quality. Moreover, automation may not be appropriate or even feasible for every type of testing, such as usability tests and tiger teams performing penetration testing. The take-home point from our experience with both Business Innovation Mowgli games is that by combining effective testing with other action plans, the benefits of cost savings and efficiencies from open system architecture initiatives may be achieved without compromising the quality of the results. We don't just want competition. We don't just want lower cost. Instead, we need to use competition to get the same or better quality at a cost we can afford. Our next step is to help the Department of the Navy formulate a comprehensive whole life cycle testing and quality assurance approach, together with a path towards the standardization of automated testing and retesting methods and tools to assist with lowering the cost and time to field innovative and robust capability. Our goal at the Software Engineering Institute is also to help promote the visibility and strategic importance of testing across government and industry to enhance the quality of delivered components and integrated products, as well as to spur innovation in quality assurance methods and tools by the defense industrial base and commercial information technology companies.